I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Let it swing right back Back, back Hey guys, welcome back to another video! Today's video, I am set up for another nail demo. I'm so excited. I loved the last one. So did you guys, and so I am here for another. So let's get straight into this video. If you are new here, then welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. And if you guys can share, like, comment, do all of that good stuff, I would be so appreciative. And it might give me some motivation, motivation, really, <laughs> some motivation to keep this up for you guys and hopefully try and get it to a video a day. Like how amazing would that be? I know it's a long shot, but I'll try. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with Seduction. Now this is one of our new colours. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've decided to pair that with the loose glitter, which is Sugar Plum absolutely one of my ultimate favorites do not use it enough um also it's from glitter planet which is my shop available in the, the <laughs> available in the description box down below so if you're interested check it down there like i'll remember to link and list everything for you guys um, the brush I'm using today is the number 12 bestie brush and i've got my dappen dish ready to go I'm just going to show you how this picks up and how beautiful it is. It's kind of a, I don't know, a cool toned lilac. Absolutely stunning. It's bloody beautiful. I've also got my clear acrylic at ready at the side as well because that is what I'm going to be picking my glitter up with. So again, just another simple nail. Um, simple but cute. That is what we are going for here. This time I'm going to do the colour at the tip. So I'm coming in with seduction and just laying my bead and allowing that to level. And then I'm just going to pat it from side to side. And then we're going to pull down. And our colours at Nail Me are super pigmented, so you can work super wet with them. And as you can see, you're still going to get that full coverage. You don't need to work really thick. And tidy up the sides oh my gosh that is freaking gorgeous okay so i'm just going to come in with crystal clear and i'm just going to pop some up here and blend that down and this is just so that when i'm coming in with my loose glitter it's going to really stick to the nail so i'm picking up a bead of clear and i'm coming in with my glitter Ooh, she is pretty I'm just going to pop it there and I'm just going to dip that wet brush. I'm not picking up any more product and I'm just going to add some more glitter to that just to build up the opacity where that blend line is, where the colour meets. I'm just going to come down, blend that down over the coloured acrylic. Jesus, wept almighty. I might need to get these nails in my life. They are freaking gorgeous. I've not even finished and I am obsessed. <laughs> I say this every time and it's not a lie. Every nail I do, I feel like I need to redo my nails. I'm just obsessed with all of them. Absolutely stunning. But same with everybody else's nails. Like I'll be scro scrolling through Instagram I'm like, oh my God, I need to do my nails again and again. <laughs> I just had to pause for a second there. Pixie came up <laughs> for her glow sticks. Because, you know, kids have all these random things. Um, so, yeah. I'm back in with my cuticle bead. Yeah. That's the beauty, I guess, of doing the videos in real time. You might get a bit of my family hustle and bustle in the background. Which, I guess, is a beautiful sound. Well, it is to me. Um, okay, so that's the cuticle bead Done. I'm just going to add a little bit more at that side and then I'm going to cap this nail and file and then I'm going to add some sugar in I think onto this one how gorgeous is that oh, that looks super pretty I might actually add another chunky glitter just 
kind of, yeah, I'm definitely going to, just give me a sec, let me go and find one. Okay, I'm back and I didn't find the one that I wanted. I felt like I wanted to add, I can't remember what the name of it for some strange reason. I feel like it's Trixie or something like that and it's got purples and things, but it might well have not gone. Okay, so I've decided to go with some stained glass butterflies and what I'm going to do is just pinch a few of them out onto one of the lint-free pads that we have just so I can pick them up individually. And this is how they look, they're so gorgeous and I felt like the warmth in the iridescent kind of just you know went with the look of this glitter as well. So I'm just dipping in, I'm going to pick up some crystal clear and I'm just going to pop it on because that's what's going to hold these in place. Now ori like originally, <laughs> generally you're not going to see the butterflies until the light hits them which is what I want. I just want a subtle hue of something there. So that's what I'm going for and I'm just going to do a nice little trail across the nail. It's super delicate and super fun. Sometimes that is what we need. And then when we get more to the edge, you'll kind of, you know, see. You'll see them a little bit more. If that doesn't look cute, I don't know what does. Okay, let me just, you know, move these around. she cute that is super pretty love it okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and cap this design using crystal clear I'm just picking up a nice bead and when you've used chunky glitters or shapes you really want to make sure one that you pick up a bead that's wet enough that it kind of wraps around the piece that you've used because you don't want to use a bead that's too dry and when you come to cap you kind of get an air bubble or some like a gap that's missing because the consistency is incorrect and it doesn't form a mold around the shapes because then as soon as you file on top coat you think you've done a bomb set and you do that top coat and you're like damn and you've got bubbles and stuff and it just doesn't look pretty so that is one and two you really want to make sure you get enough product on there so that everything is capped enough so that when you do come to file you have enough room to give that nail a nice shape and structure without spoiling any of the design basically um, so as as this is a long nail i am coming in with multiple beads just because i want to make sure that i've applied that nice and evenly and created a nice shape so I'm just going to come in with the cuticle bead pushing that up the nail tucking it in and then dragging down can you see how that's running as well we can just come in with our brush push it up the nail and then blend it down into the product that's there wipe off the brush and then just tuck it in again nicely at that cuticle area and there we have it my darlings I'm going to allow this to set and then I'm going to go ahead file and top coat off of camera and I'll be back I'm not top coating off camera and that'd be a stupid lie file and buff off camera and I'll be back to top coat Okay guys, so I've finished filing and buffing this nail and we're ready to apply top coat. As always, I'm using my ultimate fave, which is the super gloss. Look how stunning it looks. This would look beautiful matte as well, which by the way, we do have our matte top coat coming soon. We have it at the minute at HQ. I'm just waiting on the labels, but since it's Christmas, I don't think we're gonna get it done in time. So it will be early January, kind of mid January, I think that we will have it available. So I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add my top coat. 
Ooh, so gorgeous. I knew it would be. This combination is absolutely fire. Look at that. As always, I will do some close ups as well and just share the up close shots with you because everybody loves a close up. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as well. Um, yeah, I'm loving sitting down at my desk and just getting stuck into a single tip design, talking through it with you guys and just explaining the process. I just, I don't know, it's relaxing, it's therapeutic and hopefully you guys enjoy watching as well. Okay, so this is how we're looking. I'm going to cure in the light for a full 60 seconds and then I'll be back to share the close-ups. Okay guys, so this is my final look. I am loving how it turned out. I think it's so cute and look how different it looks. So when it catches different lights, you just kind of see the twinkling of the butterflies and the warm glow. I think it looks super stunning. As always, check the description box for any products that I've used. I will link them, I will list them, and you can also use my code NINJA5 for 5% off at Glitter Planet. And yeah, just give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And as always, guys, remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck. And don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye. Merry Christmas.